Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. So in our previous video, we have learned the uh, installation part and also the uh, how to write a feature file and then the cucumber.json file, the configuration thing, right? So today we are going to learn how to write the step definitions files and also we are going to write few of the uh, playwright code as well. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to make the dry run as true so that it don't execute but it will just give us the snippets okay so i'm going to bring up my terminal control j and i'm going to say npm run test or npm test anything is fine and in our previous video i actually forgot to mention that uh, we have to use this required module um, so that whenever we use the import statement your javascript will not give us any error okay so here I can see like I got all these snippets. I'm just going to copy everything. Yeah, I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to navigate to my step definition. I'm going to paste it. And also we have one other step from here. So I'm just going to copy this guy as well and going to paste here. Okay. Now I have to do some cleanup work. So I'm just going to do that very quickly. okay and also we have to remove this guy so just select both the line use ctrl d and ctrl d again so it will just um, find all the matching and then you can use the delete key so that it will be deleted okay similarly you can do this uh, like ctrl d select all the lines delete that's it and again delete okay so this like your uh, multi cursor so it should work fine okay fine so we are able to do the cleanup now now what we have to do is let's see if there is any error here i can see one error so i'm just going to quickly change this that's it i guess yeah now of course we have to write all the import statements so i can say like import then followed by um from at the rate cucumber cucumber and here i can say like uh, given then followed by when then followed by then okay um so that's it we are pretty much done now here you can see like as i explained in the previous video this is your uh, parameterized concept in cucumber okay so for example user enter the username as so if i go to my feature file here you can see like user enter the username as autony and here also like user enter the username as kaushik so that means the step is same only the data is going to change so for that we are using this parameterized concept like this is a keyword from cucumber but this one of course user defined you can change for example i know this is going to be my username and here it's going to be my password okay so that's it very simple thing now of course we have to write all the uh, playwright code so i'm going to import the playwright first so at the rate playwright test yeah so what are the things we need of course we need the um chromium the page and the browser okay so yeah so we need the following things okay so first of all let's go and see what is there so of course user navigates to the application that means we have to launch the browser right so here i'm going to say like let browser and then followed by let page it's going to be of type page okay and this thing actually it should be like browser colon okay now what we are going to do is we are going to say uh, the simple chromium code so of course you know i remember so i'll just write this quickly okay so chromium dot launch and of course we want to launch in the uh, headless so i'll make it false so using the browser object i can say like browser dot new page and that's going to return me the page okay so that's why we have like here uh, this thing so browser this is this one the page is this one okay so yeah of course you can use the context as well like browser dot new context from the context you can create a new page but i'm going to skip that for now because we are not going to do anything with the context for now okay so of course we have to write like await page dot um go to and here our url so this is the one so i'm going to copy this and paste over here okay 
Of course, you can read the data from JSON file or from your process.env. Anything is fine, but yeah, we'll talk about that in our upcoming videos. Now, that's it. Very simple thing. Similarly, we have to write for all the things. I'm going to use the um, latex path for that. Okay, so I'm just going to inspect this login. Um, span text equal to login. I want to do the click action. I'm going to copy paste here. And then I have like user enter the username. Okay, so let's go. And here I inspect. And it has a uh, CSS of username. Copy this. Paste over here. And here I have to pass my username, of course, the parameter. And then I have to use the password. So I'm going to copy and pay this one. Please and password over here. And with this, we'll pass our parameter concept. Okay, that's it very simple. Now, when user clicks on the login button, so here we have to inspect this login button. And I can see there is some X path, but the good one will be this one, which has a CSS of color equal to primary. Okay. I'm going to do the click action. Let me copy and paste over here. That's it. Then login should be a success. Okay, so once I uh, enter the correct credential like this, login will be successful. So here I can select I am able to see my username. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, inspect this one, which doesn't have X path, but CSS is there. Okay, I guess this is the one. Yeah, this is the one okay so i'm going to use the uh, get text i mean text content so that we can see like there is something okay so for example here i can just print it uh yeah so this will return me the text and i'm going to just print it out so console log and text okay and that's going to be like my username okay and here for the failure of course like if i go and give some correct i mean wrong credential so here you can see like we are getting like username or password is incorrect okay so it has an id called matter error and the role alert so role alert makes sense instead of like mat error dash four because the number okay so let's go and uh, we can just check like if this is available or not right so we can just go and bring it up here yeah okay so we can say like const and then i can say like element uh, or i can give some failure message and we are using page.locator okay now to do the assertion we don't have to go with like chai or mocha or any other asset library i will prefer to use the playwright expect itself and that works with this uh, without any issue the reason i'm using playwright expect here is because like of the auto wait feature so if you are going to use the chai or uh, mocha or any other asset library it don't wait okay so the explicit wait is not there but when we use the player at expect the expect library assertion library that will have like inbuilt wait mechanism which will be really easy for us okay so for example here i can say like await then followed by expect and import this from playwright at test i mean playwright test and i can pass my locator and i can expect like to be visible okay so that's it very simple so if you see here once we enter it will take like few seconds so that this thing will come so it will auto wait if i use another library i have to write like to be visible and all those stuff which is not required so always use player at expect and that works with cucumber so even if there is any failure it will show us in the report okay so here we are just printing the text and here we are doing one assertion okay now that's it we are pretty much done with our coding only thing we have to do is we have to close the browser and the page right so here i can select say like this is my last step so login should be success so here i will say like await then followed by browser dot close which should work fine and if i go to my login dot feature login should fail this is my last step here so here also i will say like await browser dot close of course you can say like await page.close and then followed by browser.close uh, yeah it's good okay 
now you might ask me we have background so for before each and every scenario it will open the browser so similarly can we do unfortunately we do not have that in future file so background is limited to a particular feature file and this thing like we are closing right so that thing we can do in a common scenario uh, with the help of hooks that we will talk about in the upcoming videos okay so now if i just give like control click you can see like it's navigating me to the particular link i mean particular step definition or if i just mouse over you can see the step definition implementation as well okay now let me go to my cucumber.json file and make sure always the dry run is going to be false so that it will execute or else it won't get executed okay now let me bring up my terminal control j and i'm going to clear it And I'm going to run the same command npm run test. Let's see the output. Okay, some failure is there because it's not clicking on the login link. We'll check that in a moment. And it's running one more, one more. Okay, I found the. So if you if you see here, it says like four scenarios, two failed and two passed, and there are twenty four steps. Ah, uh, six hundred five. Okay, the issue is like I have another feature file as well, and here I have like few of these steps, so that's why it's just opened and closed. So I'm going to um specify a particular feature so for that i'm going to navigate to my json file and here i'm going to say like slash then followed by cucumber.json okay i'm going to focus on this particular feature file not the other one okay so i'm going to bring up my terminal once again and i'm going to run this So here you can see like both the test uh, pass so username and or Tony. So that's what we are getting with there. And then another thing is also there, which is yeah, that's it. Okay. So both the scenario run. Of course, we are not able to see any kind of report now, but we'll see that in the next upcoming video. But you are able to, but we are able to write the step definition file, and also we are able to run without any issue. And also we learned like how to run a particular feature file. If I don't specify the feature file name, that means it's going to execute all the feature file okay now i guess you are very clear with this this is how we have to write the step definition and if you know playwright of course it's a very simple thing okay just make sure you are going to use the close in an appropriate within an appropriate step definition so that it will close properly or else memory will be wastage okay now coming back to the another feature file so here i have another feature file like add to cart feature where we have like same background user navigates to application so if i click on this you can see like it's navigating to me the same step definition that we used for the login def login step definition but the issue is here um for example let's say um we have to write this as well right user search for a book correct user search for a book so user navigates to the application we already have the step definition and user entered username as we have the step definition user enter password as something we have the step definition but user search for a book of course i don't have the step definition so i have to write that correct so let's go and do the dry run one more time without dry run also i can get that but uh, just to show you okay so i'm going to use this particular feature file now i'm going to skip the um, i'm going to skip the login feature file okay i'm going to bring up my terminal and if i execute the npm run test of course it's a dry run so i will get only the snippets dry run in the sense like we are checking whether all the steps are mapped to the uh, step definition or not okay so here you can select um, 12 steps 6 undefined 6 skipped okay so yeah these are the undefined steps so here you can see like we got something i'm just going to copy everything and i'm going to create a new step definition file over here okay so this is different feature file so for that i'm going to create another step definition 
so here i'm going to say like add to cart steps dot ts yeah and i'm going to paste it and i'm going to do the same i'm just going to remove all the matching things okay so we got this and of course we know we have to do all the import statement as well so i'm just going to copy paste both the lines and paste over here okay just the import statement okay now i'm going to remove this of course okay so here user search for a book user search for a book correct so this is going to be my uh, book okay and if you see here this add to cart feature has like scenario outline that means based on the number of data i have it's going to execute so for example this scenario outline will execute two times because i have two set of datas and this line number 14 is basically your header so here you can see like username which is this one your password and this is your book name okay so i know the format of this are is a string so i have enclosed within the double quotes and then for by to state this as my header name and i have to use this curly braces so within double quotes within curly braces you have to give your header name that's it very simple okay so we are pretty much done with the future file and now we are going to write the step dimension file okay so first thing first of course i have to use the page without page i cannot do this right so for example here i have to say like let page and this is going to be a way of type page okay now user search for a book what is that so basically here um so let me log in first okay it works based on the login that is how we have written our feature file so here you can see like user navigate to the application user enter the username password and then search for a book okay so this is the search i mean the search placeholder so i'm going to write this very quickly okay so i'm going to use the send keys and here i'm going to paste it and the book should be go here okay and once i search like for example let's say that i'm going to search for like hp6 then this thing will come here we have to click right so i'm going to find this one and this is basically within an option and it has a um role called option okay so i'm just going to this one and then followed by i have to use the span as well so to do the click okay uh, this is cs so i have to use the x path as well so double slash or else i can write the css itself so here i can say like span okay so yeah so this is what we have to click okay um so here i can select await then followed by page dot locator the locator dot click okay and then what we are going to say user add the book to the cart okay so for example i typed i got this one and here i have to use this add to cart so let me go and inspect this one and here i have a xpath of primary class span one i'm not happy with that probably i can go with the text so is the text actually but it's not coming okay so this button actually we have to click on this button so here it's we can see like add color equal to primary which looks okay -ish. so let's go with this so i'm going to do the click action okay and then followed by the cart badge should be updated so once i do the add to cart here you can see like it's from zero to it changed to one right so i'm going to just inspect this one and where is the so this is the one so badge um content i'm going to take the css and i'm going to say like a text okay and here yeah that's it okay. so I can say like const badge count equal to this is just a playwright code i am not teaching anything about particular about the cucumber uh, that is how it works so basically if you know playwright cucumber is just a configuration you can learn maybe like within um, 30 minutes i will say 
so expect badge count um, dot length actually and here it should be like uh, wait sorry not length yeah length length is the property so if there is a badge count we'll get the length and then i can say like um to be greater than zero okay so it means like a uh, the batch count will be initially zero when we add something it will be like greater than zero that is what we are checking here okay and await is also hot not required because already we have used the await that will return the text content but um see here we have to make this into a uh, what we call that integer so text batch count means it will give us the string string of length if we take like if there is a two were two characters it will give us a length of two but we want to check the numerical comparison right so for that of course we have to convert this into a uh, number so you can say like number of this that's a very simple thing okay yeah now if you go back to your step definition i mean feature file you can see like we have all these steps okay and if i go to my login step here we have the navigates so if i go to my add to cart feature file so user navigate to the application we already have the step definition and if i go to the uh, user enter the username as something we have that as well but of course we forgot to use this login link right so i'm going to quickly do that so i can just okay so we have all these step definition but if i try to run this it will not work actually so for example i'm going to make the dry run as false if i bring up my terminal watch carefully it will launch the browser it will go to the login link page and it will stop from there i mean it will enter the username and password as well but after that it will not work so it's the login page it entered the username and password and then it stopped work so you can see both the browser it just stopped work because we are using the page in another file where we do not have the object okay so for example let me close all this it won't work so if you see the error message it executed the first four steps which is which we have uh, these are in the login steps okay and when i come to the add to cart this particular line and use a search for room is you can see like cannot read properties undefined off locator that means of course we do not have any of the object here for example here we are saying let page but this page is coming from where coming from nowhere right because we don't have the object now if i comment this of course i will end up with compile time error TypeScript doesn't know what this page is all about so of course it will be a failure again right so what we have to do is we have to create the common page object page object means not the page object model i mean this page like in selenium we call this as driver right so we have to share the same page and we have to use it in different things okay the one way of solving this is of course like I can again launch my browser within the same page and I can do that's not a problem but like let me show you that as well okay so for example if I go to the login steps and only this are the problem side right? so only I have to create the object so what I will do instead of like I can just simply copy all this and I'll go to my add to cart feature and I can paste it okay so here I have like user login link i have the username as password the password thing is there and then i have like user search for search so i don't have to do anything because i already have the page object but if i go and run this now it will work for the first time i guess okay yeah, it didn't work okay so if you can see here it says like ambiguous okay that means we cannot have multiple step definition okay so for example here um, it says like ambiguous 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 and again ambiguous ambiguous so for example user navigates to the application which is found in the 
add to cart file as well login steps file as well and user clicks on the login link which is there in the add to cart as well as the login steps so what happens in this case is like this is known as like duplicate step definition we cannot have the same steps in multiple step definition file of course i can have the same within multiple feature file which is absolutely fine but i cannot use the same steps in another feature file okay so that is the behavior of the cucumber so i cannot have the multiple steps in the different file so what i have to do i have to reuse the same page object so that every page will know what is page and it can reuse all the step definition how to do that we'll talk about this in the next video first in this video we learn the problem statement in the next video we learn the solution as well okay so that's it from my side if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments and all the code base are in my github link link will be in the description you can go and check it out thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon Ta -da, bye bye take care